I, I really want to be a clown. Like, I really want to be a clown. <laughs> Hi, my name is Shanice Nicole Stanislas, and I'm from the class of 2017. I thought you were going to ask me a like, question like, what is your favorite animal? Very bland, you know. My favorite animal is a giraffe. Have you heard my giraffe jokes? One day, a giraffe had food poisoning. Three days later, it puked. Do you get it? Because it like, like all the vomit like coming out its long neck. <laughs> when I was young, I wanted to be an actress. My aunts were always asking, hey, what do you want to be when you grow up? All my cousins would say, I want to be a doctor. Some kind of, you know, up there profession. I kind of lied my way through. Yeah, I want to be a doctor. In my head, secretly, I want to be an actress. <laughs> and this was before I even started like theatre. People don't know this about me but I've done theatre for like a very long time, for like more than 10 years. Dance came in very late. I went to JC, I took theatre studies and drama. They were like, you have to dance flamenco for your for your final. And then I Google, you know, like flamenco, it takes seven years to to be a professional. I'm like, uh, I only have one year. So I go online, I look for flamenco teacher. This guy came out, Antonio Vargas. I called him and I said, I need someone to train me. He came, this old man with a guitar, telling me all the stories of flamenco. After that, I've just been lost in the world of dance. I really like to dance since young. I used to ask my mom, can I go for ballet? You know, I always peek in the ballet studio. I think I never really joined dance until I was 16. My neighbours and I used to play a lot and we used to like choreograph dance numbers. I wanted to be like a Spice Girl when I was <laughs> Now I'll be old lah, like here pain, that pain. <laughs> when we moved out, we thought, okay, a way of like connecting back is let's go take a dance class. It's a calling lah, like I cannot avoid it. I can try and be some rich Thai Thai or like... <laughs> but I can't, this is what I, I felt like I'm, I'm good at and I'll just put all my energy into it all the way. When I went to New York and I was training in conservatory there, one of the classes we took was clowning. My impression and probably a lot of people think clowning is just putting on the red nose and the big spectacle. The art of clown is actually the art of play. When you start a clown class, they actually tell you to just be yourself. You play a lot with like impulse and instinct and just like learning to be a child again and being your truest self on stage. My training has always been about like, I need to deliver like a monologue. Clown is for me like a research into just to be myself and play. Oh my God, it's so funny when people just go on stage and be themselves. I want to study this. And of course, like I told my parents and they laugh at me. I mean, they still laugh at me. Oh, you want to be a dancer? You want to be oh, arts? They are waiting for me to like wake up my idea, you know? like. <laughs> People are constantly like criticizing you, trying to sculpt you into a thing. So I, I have like double jointed hands, like hyper extended hands. Here in Singapore, a lot of people like a lot of dancers hate it. They want like conformity and they think I should look a certain way. But when I left the country and I went to like the big cities like New York and Barcelona, oh my god, they love my like hyper extensions, you know. And that's how I got my jobs. Like <laughs> they were like, oh, I love your elbows. Can you dance for me? <laughs> I hope that they will always remember that of me, the dancer that never had straight arms <laughs> or something. Oh, hi.